All right, sounds good. Thanks, Riley. Well, she's in charge of the Postal Service, and today the Postmaster General came to Portland, but her visit was met by protesters. Brent Weisberg is digging deeper into the concerns of post workers. No posters, no tax, no ifs, and no buts. These folks today in downtown Portland have a message for Postmaster General Megan J. Brennan. This Postmaster General has the keys of this organization. The National Association of Letter Carriers, NALC, is concerned about how Brennan will turn the Postal Service around and make it profitable. I've learned that mail processing facilities in Salem and Pendleton and Boise, Idaho, have all closed. Meanwhile, services have been reduced in Klamath Falls, and bend. According to the NALC, the people most affected by these cuts are folks living in eastern Oregon. With the plants shut down and with the reduced services, I'm told that if you live in a small town and want to mail a regular piece of letter to someone in your same zip code, that piece of mail now travels all the way here to Portland by truck and then goes back to eastern Oregon for delivery. How is this going to affect them? Well, in essence, the Post Service has made them second class citizens because by closing plants like in Pendleton and other places in rural Oregon, people who live in rural Oregon, they don't receive the same standards that we do in, a, a, say, in Portland or Eugene or Salem. We waited to talk with the Postmaster General today after her closed door speech, but had no luck. The NALC says closing plants is also hurting local families who are simply trying to make ends meet. Well, it certainly hurts the economies, there's no doubt about that, because most postal jobs are good family wage jobs with good benefits. And when they close those plants down, they ship those people out to other cities. Reporting in downtown Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Queen 6 News.